Hi there! My name is Sonia. In this video, we'll talk about the main tools we use in vulnerability research. IDA is a multi-platform tool providing a graphical interface for viewing and analyzing assembly code. It supports a wide range of file formats, including PE files, ELF files, and Mac OS files. Developed by the NSA, Gidra can also be used as a disassembler. With its user-friendly interface and comprehensive feature set, Gidra makes reverse engineering and vulnerability research more accessible and efficient for experts and beginners alike. Binary Ninja provides an interactive interface for exploring and analyzing the code, along with a variety of tools for visualizing control flow, data structures, and other aspects of the code. GDB is a free and open source tool allowing users to control the execution of a program, inspect its behavior, identify bugs, and perform source-level debugging by stopping the execution of a program at a specified point, examining its memory, and checking its state. WinDebugger is a powerful debugger for Windows operating systems. It supports various debugging modes, including kernel mode debugging, user mode debugging, and dump file analysis, among others. It provides a graphical user interface, as well as a command line interface, to enable developers to debug and analyze their software efficiently and effectively. Ali Debugger is a 32-bit assembler level analyzing debugger for Microsoft Windows. It's designed to debug user mode programs on Windows and can be used to reverse engineer code by examining the disassembly of machine code, stepping through the code and analyzing memory contents, as well as setting breakpoints and tracing code execution. Burp Suite is a comprehensive and integrated platform for performing security testing of web applications. It provides a range of tools and features to help security researchers find and report vulnerabilities in web applications, including a proxy to intercept and modify network traffic, an intruder to perform automated attacks, a scanner to identify vulnerabilities, and a repeater to manually modify requests. Zap is a free, open-source web application security testing tool. It is designed to perform security scans and identify vulnerabilities in web applications, such as XSS, SQL injection, and other common threads. The tool is user-friendly and supports a variety of features, such as spidering, automated scanning, and manual testing, to help security testers and developers identify and remediate security weaknesses in web applications. Charles Proxy is a web debugging tool that allows developers to view the traffic between their machine and the internet. It is designed to help developers test and debug their web applications by showing them the raw data being sent and received by their browser. Charles can be used to inspect the structure of web pages, trace the sequence of requests made by a web page, and modify requests and responses on the fly to test the behavior of a web application. Review Board is a web-based code review tool designed to help software development teams conduct code reviews and collaborate on software changes. It provides features such as code highlighting, diffing, commenting, and more. Review Board helps teams to identify code changes and improve the quality of code before it is merged into the code base, reducing the number of bugs and security vulnerabilities. Coverity is a static code analysis tool that is used to identify security vulnerabilities, coding errors, and performance issues in software source code. It is designed to help developers improve the quality and security of their software by automating the process of code review and analysis. Coverity uses advanced algorithms to identify and prioritize software defects, providing developers with actionable insights into the most critical issues that need to be addressed. SonarCube is an open source platform for continuous inspection of code quality. It provides automatic feedback to software developers on issues like bugs, vulnerabilities, code smells, and security issues in the code by performing static code analysis. The analysis is performed by a set of plugins for various programming languages that analyze the code and provide a report with actionable insights to improve the code quality. 
Binwalk is a tool for analyzing and reverse engineering binary files, often used for firmware analysis. It identifies and extracts embedded files and executable code, allowing the user to analyze the contents and structure of the firmware. Binwalk is commonly used in the security industry for identifying security vulnerabilities and testing the robustness of embedded systems. TRID is a software tool that identifies the format of binary files, often used for file type analysis. It helps determine the type of a file by analyzing its contents and structure, and provides detailed information about the file format, including its origin, purpose, and potential security implications. PEView is a tool used for viewing and analyzing the structure and metadata of PE files, which are the executable files in Windows systems. PEView provides information on the header, sections, resources, imports, and exports of a PE file, allowing the user to see how the file is structured and what functions it contains. If you liked this video, please hit like and share this video on social media. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to receive more videos like this one. Join our online community of students learning useful cybersecurity skills if you haven't already. To register for a free account right away, go to our website. Happy learning and see you soon!